Real. Real. Sport. 360. Zidane sent off. It's been a battle royal from start to finish. Well, if that was a bite. Well, this looks like turning into a real battle. having to ref teams that wantonly break the rules, but it's worse when they don't even know them. Zaire, throughout that World Cup, had a real problem with defending free kicks. And even advice from the helpful Jairzinho was respectfully declined. Here they try again against Scotland, seeing that it's a different referee. Unfortunately, Zaire had based their whole preparations on watching old editions of Inter Knockout. And their defending of free kicks was based on an ancient game of what's the time, Mr. Wolf. Nick's in trouble here, Batty Stock. Let's have another look at this. Oh, he's caught by the Oh dear. It's a horrible challenge by the goalkeeper. I just wonder what the uh... Slow motion shows the extent of Schumacher's crime. Schumacher clearly makes no attempt to play the ball. He prefers bets. The French get no penalty. Schumacher stays on the field. Batisson is carried from it. And France are forced to use their second substitute. Atari scores! With what in all likelihood will be the last kick of the match. Here we go. Barteng's there! Keeper's lost it! Appy is there! Blocked on the line! Blocked on the line again! Has it gone in? Appy has the shot, it's blocked. I think it's this one here that goes on to the handball. Absolutely right, the assistant and the referee got his spot on. It didn't cross the line, but it's a clear handball. The red card is shown. Sent off. Well, you couldn't have a more dramatic finish to a World Cup match than this one. Oh, and he's missed! stop here because the Italians have a man down by their own penalty area. It's an incident that must have happened some way away from the ball and it looks like Matarazzi is the player who's face down on the deck. Zidane sent off. Oh my word. That is extraordinary. A headbutt to the chest of Matarazzi. We can see here he's in conversation with Zidane. A shameful incident that marks his last act on a football field. The last match of his career irreparably tarnished. It has been a battle royal from start to finish. Caught by Van Bommel and it's a yellow card early on for the Dutch midfield player. Arouz is all apologies but he's going to get a yellow card here. The referee's going back to Manish, showing him a yellow card. 1-0 to Portugal. Costinha's going to get a yellow card here. His participation in this game appears to be over. It's Costinha's second yellow card and he's off. I think there's a deliberate handball. Oh, problems here for Portugal. Figo has just headbutted Van Bommel and the referee has just shown him a card. Deco's foul. And the referee's going to have to take a firm hand in this football match. It's just getting a little bit nasty out there. Heitinger. Oh! This is just getting silly. This has to be the most volatile match of the World Cup final so far. That's his second yellow. He's off. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. He's already been yellow carded. It's another red here. Four red cards. 16 bookings and four red cards. Oh, and a, a clash inside the penalty area involving Chiellini. It's also left his Uruguayan opponent, Suarez, clutching his face. What's Chiellini claiming here? Here is again. Into the box, there's the first jump. Oh dear, oh. he's had a little bite at Chiellini. Surely not again. The head certainly went in Chiellini's direction. It can't be proved, but Chiellini's trying to make it obvious to everybody. Well, if that was a bite, then that's the third time.
that Luis Suarez has committed that particular crime. Marini took a kick at a player there. Well, oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. There's nowhere near the ball. And there's trouble already. There's a fight going on in the middle there. Well, this looks like turning into a real battle. And what a scene after just five minutes play. And the police are being called on. And he's off the field. Most stupid. And there we go again. That was one of the neatest left hooks I've ever seen. Well, David is absolutely out cold. Oh, we're getting a rugby match and a fight. Everything going in there. Well, how can Aston could possibly keep this game going? David and he's off the field. Well, Italy down to nine men. Well, that was one of the most cold-blooded and lethal tackles I think I've ever seen. The game is over. Ken Aston on his way to the dressing room. of injustice is insurmountable for the Germans. It's considered the most controversial goal in football history, even today. These winners of the World Cup. Viduka. This time, it's a yellow card for Josip Simonic. of Hodge or Trevor Stephen. And Maradona just walked away from Hoddle then. Valdano. Hodge and Maradona. They're appealing for offside. The ball came back off the foot of Steve Hodge. And Maradona gives Argentina the lead. The England players protesting to the referee. But the little man who started it by walking past Glenn Hoddle. And the goal is given. At uh, what point was he offside, or was it a use of the hand that England are complaining about? It's a goal! It's in the back of the net! From Ronaldo! And now we're into injury time. Nalito's kick is a good one, and it's brilliantly put in. So, 